Hello, my friends, watching the match number four Chaos Dwarfs versus Lizards. Uh, so the Lizards choose to receive, they want to hit first. Chaos Dwarfs has one bribe and one wizard. They have also the Nobla, Bludge Chainsaw players. So they have extra three players today. Nobla can be useful against the skinks. Uh, also with bribe, he's a good fouling, fouling players. Guest dwarves also have DP, so. Following with the DP, Hope Goblin is also a white wise choice. A Chaos Blocker on the loss. Okay. And the Lizards have two skinks. The match started with a quick snap and a catch. Let's open the extra skills. Let's change the weave to the lizard's weave. And on the opening hits, one hobgoblin with wrestle is KO'd. We will see a three dice. That's a nice effort. This croxigor is really very nice, isn't it? Hitting the weak player. But doesn't he block? Block, there's a block piece. I don't know. Probably I would hit with block. It wouldn't make any change. Maybe he is trying to get a level up. To get more SP on this lizard. But trying to get level ups. First of all... I think you need to focus on this game. If you have the numbers advantage, you can find some easier hits for him. We should see a claw hit, I guess. Or, my, or a might blow hit. Yeah, that's a nice target. Stand firm is sometimes annoying. So, hitting some weaker targets sometimes can be more handy. He didn't want to stay here anyway, because three guards, that's, that's understandable. So, so, it was a nice choice then. If it could be a removal, it would be a four levels up. So far, there is only one removal. Stand firm hitting another stand firm, but he got pinned here because of the stand firm. The skins are really very nice also in this lizard team. Three of them are blotch with some extra skills. So keeping one scoring threat. It is not very easy to hit him with tackle though, but not a mighty blow. And if he tries to get that hit, probably he cannot hit this lizard Sauruses. Brought the guard into a nice location. Stunt form is a really very nice fighting skill. First of all, it makes your opponent think twice before he trying to hit you. In case cannot bring him down, uh, you will you will need to dodge out or you will get the hit back. Oh.
needed to use a reroll on a triple skull, then failed two times GFI. That was unfortunate. The lizard team is taking the free hits. There that is a risk on the ball if something's go wrong. And it was a one over nine, for example. It could fail. Then probably this break tackle can reach here or this dwarfs one of them could be freed maybe. Let's see what is the target in the and it's a, oh it was a stupid it is a bonehead sorry let's watch that again what happened there It's not a bone hat, isn't it? Oh, it is a bone hat, but not showing. Oh, I see. It was a really very critical fail from the lizard team there. Relying on the crocs gourd and failing, activating him and failing the bone hat. Oh my god. Chaos Dwarf team is really failing some important dices. And another one failed many ones. They have only one reroll remaining. It could be it could be an, another bone hat for the lizard team. successful pickup in the Chaos Dwarf team still have and making another one over nine was it really necessary I don't I don't think so taking these uh, one over nine risks you need to do these one over nines if you are pressured to do And some three plus dodges. Is it team didn't fail any of these dices? They're throwing. They were not very easy. We can observe a break tackle hit, maybe. But with one reroll remaining, probably not. Oh, he tried really. And it's successful. And he got the pow. It was a nice attempt. He couldn't follow in case of a surfing attempt. But it's a lucky scatter for the lizards. And Chaos Dwarves spent all their rerolls in four turns. And didn't fail the 3 plus again.
is a really very critical one over nines. And it is still not safe. Still not safe. There's an easy hit on the ball. I think Lizard team should have some better solutions to this pressure. Giving free hits every every five turns so far. It, it looks really very bad. I don't know. And the ball carriers, kings are taking the hits. Nothing happens to them. That's also very lucky for the lizards. And the Chaos Dwarf team just cannot recover the ball. It's going like a perfect stall. If it continue like this, if somehow, somehow Lizard team always pick up the ball at the end. It's just a perfect stall for the Lizards. Again, didn't fail. And trying another 1 over 9 with built-in rerolls, so... Taking this hit with that block. But you have reroll, yeah, 1 over 81, but it can happen. And lizards go for the touchdown on turn 6. It's not easy for the Chaos Dwarves scoring in 3 turns. It's not impossible, especially with Wizard, if they want to use it. So three turns can be possible, but yeah, we, they have sure hands. If this bull can pick up the ball, and if the kick is nice on the pad, if it is not a very deep one, the only problem is no rerolls for the cast wars. Three turns is it's doable. It is not a very, very impossible. Not a very, very difficult situation. But they need some dices, of course, for that. Lizard team is... Didn't lose any players so far. Probably Chaos Dwarves will keep did no bluff for the second try, second half, sorry. And Chaos Dwarves get the reroll, that's a very nice start. I think I will, because you have only three turns, I would leave this. I wouldn't be very aggressive about these hits. I think I would prefer to get to bring uh, some scoring options and mark the big boys. Because here scoring is your priority in, instead of taking these hits. And he is wrestled. That's also unfortunate for the Chaos Dwarves. He will lose some movements. And pickup attempt is successful too. A DP fall, nothing happens. Disappointing for the Chaos Dwarves. It could be a nice removal. He fought with DP. Now lizards will try to close their paths to get into escorting positioning for the cast wars. Let's see how successful they can do. They can cause trouble for them. Following next to the cloud. Mm. 
Do you really need to mark the Chaos Dwarf blockers? I don't think so. They're, they're slow. At least no guard here, so it's not an easy hit. Not an easy hit back. The stand firm is an annoying player here. Yeah, needed to make the GFI. It is it it's a useful hit. Made some GFIs, make a two plus dodge. It looks good for the Chaos Towers, honestly. Yeah, now much more better with two GFIs. I didn't need to use any reroll for all these GFIs during the last turn. But that's fair enough, you have to try this. Oh, today the Crocs is really not, not behaving well. Oh, putting the stand firm on the ball. That's nice. And it's also a guard piece. So it was a nice play from the lizards. And he killed the bull. How oh, about the apple? Yeah, he's fine. Wow. It, it was a scary moment. And taking the other hit too. So... The only scoring threat now is this pool, which looks like very, very unlikely. And a failed red dice. He was hoping to get a chain push here. To bring the to bring the bull to a position. Needing only a break tackle dodge. A single break tackle dodge. But it didn't work. It was a nice attempt. The lizard team is still full. That's really very annoying for the Chaos Dwarves. They, they couldn't cause any removal in the first half. Not on the big boys, not on the skinks. And they got they got good number of hits, I guess. Nobla will be on the field in this try. And both teams are losing a turn. Let's see if the Chaos Dwarf team will uh, try to win this game. They also have wizards. That it wouldn't be very surprising to see them trying to score fast. They still keep their bribe. A one dice attempt. And Croxford didn't use the stand firm. That's understandable. Yeah, they are making pressure on this side.
technically it's a two plus blitz. Um, I am not a I am not a fan of this star player because of its loner. And the ball was on the ground. It it looks like it was scary, but it worked. It worked. It worked very good. Removed a fresh Saurus. Every big boy removal helps for the Chaos Dwarves because these are the fighting players on the Lizard team. One less, one less strength 4 is very handy. Even no skills. Let's see what is the plan from the Chaos Dwarfs. Hobgoblin coming back and marking the Brack Tackle. Not a very big deal. A 2 plus Deutsch angle is still open. And a nice hit on a skink, but a double skull. And a 1 over 9, but. They got block. It is okay. And another removal. So lizard team has they use both their they will use both their subs for the next drive if it happens. Probably it will happen. Another nice attempt for the removal. One dice didn't work again on the block Kroxigor. But this time he he used the stand firm. Lizard team is taking the free hits first of all. And another bonehead. I really wonder about the number of these boneheads today. And hitting hitting the Noblo with tackle. Yeah, that's was that's a nice choice. And rewarded with the removal. Trying to make it difficult for the Chaos Dwarfs, but really it is an easy touchdown here. Tackle hit on the blodge. Successful hit, but just a stun. Probably he is going for the touchdown. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Wasn't it possible? Ah, it wasn't possible, I guess. One square missing. Will the lizards try to make it difficult or will they accept the touchdown? Let's see. A 1 over 9 from Kroxigor, but he has block. He's safe. But he couldn't free the Wrestlesaurus with that failed hit attempt. Just a push. Oh, he used to break tackle there. Lizard team is really... Their dodges are very accurate, very nice today. Turn 13 already.
just a push, but that's enough. Looks like taking some free hits first of all, maybe a surf. A one less surf, it's a two plus, two plus risk of failures. Yeah, Cast Wars equalized the match on turn 13. It's 1-1. One, one. Fair plate. No blood didn't come back. And Lizard team is using their full squad now. No subs anymore. Use bribe on Nobla, but Nobla failed the, the KO attempt, so it was a waste bribe. Unfortunately, it was a wrong choice to use the bribe on him. Probably he didn't follow or, or read wrongly the result. Both are possible. With wizard, anything possible. Let's see. It's exciting to see the next next turns. Lizards, lizards have four turns to score for the winning, and Chaos Dwarves has three turns to steal the ball with wizard, and it's a blitz. It's a very nice start. Facing the big guys, so they cannot help, cannot bring help to the around the ball. The catch attempt, and if it fails, the scatter attempt will be very critical here. And catches the ball. That's crazy. Wrestle hit is successful though. Scatter is... Could be better, could be worse. But it's a good scatter, I guess. Could be much more worse. Only one tackle zone without tackle. Probably we will see a pickup attempt from the movement plus kink. Croxigore should not move this turn. That's a good choice. And that was some lucky dice. Really, today. Lizard team is not failing any critical 3 plus, I guess. They tried a pass here. It's a stunty pass, it's a 4 plus. And 4 plus failed. And it was a short pass. So it was a 5 plus. Tackle on the ball. A successful hit on a skink. And a failed dodge. Okay, reroll. After reroll, it didn't fail. Just to push though. He tries to pick up and fails, fails the 3+, plus. fails the 4+, plus with reroll, sure hands reroll. Again, only one tackle zone.
Cast Dwarf team still keeping the wizard. Interestingly. And succeeded the pickup with the reroll. That was a very critical one. And once the ball is going too deep to the Chaos Dwarf zone, that's really very difficult for the Chaos Dwarfs anymore. And the lightning bolt failed. <laughs> that, this second half is, especially after the touchdown from the Chaos Dwarfs, it started very, very nicely for the Chaos Dwarfs, but then it really turned to the other direction. They didn't use the reroll, I guess, there. So, Blizzard scored the second touchdown. It's 2-1. It is, it is over. It is over. Chaos Dwarfs has, both sides have one turn remaining. That's an interesting choice from the lizards, giving free hits. And the Chaos Dwarves are not taking these free hits. What happened there? Chaos Dwarves didn't take any hits, it looks like. Just end the turn. That's strange. Maybe the Chaos Dwarf coach said, I will not take any hits, so... Lizard team... That's why they put the skins on the loss. Interesting. So, looks like there's a source level up. That's very nice for the lizards. And they level up Hope Goblin. Nice MVPs, I guess. The first half was really not a good play from the lizards, but they're not punished. Uh, they gave several times, they gave three hits on the ball. But somehow they managed to managed to get the ball back. They didn't fail too many three pluses. Let's see. Let's see some of these dices maybe. I wonder about the pickup and dodge attempts from the lizards. Got five to one and some of them was really difficult ones. I mean in tackle zone. This pass attempt was a difficult one. It's not really actually very unlucky. The lightning bolt was a critical action in the match. Uh, Chaos Dwarfs, lizard fa uh, the wizard failed. And the dodges, 14 to 1. That's really very good. Very good. I think the lizards are were lucky today to get this win, obviously. And if the Chaos Dwarf team did something wrong, I'm not very sure. Probably, I will say the Chaos Dwarf team was closer to the win based on their place today. After... Uh, in the first half, the Chaos Dwarf team had three turns to score back. 
maybe they could play better there. But lizard lizard team's first touchdown was after many ball sacks. They always managed to pick up the ball and score at the end. So considering these, I think draw will be okay. So, but it's blood ball. Anything can happen. We need to focus on the result too much. It looks like a fun, uh, fun events, especially after the Chaos Dwarf touchdown. It was really exciting to watch. Chaos Dwarfs get the blitz at first, and somehow they couldn't score. And Lizard team get the ball, and they scored. Maybe Wizard could be earlier. Maybe. Yeah, anyway, the match is over. Thank you very much for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye.